persuaded if you hear correctly, if you just wait long enough, you'll see it. But it begins with how do you hear? Amen. The word of the Lord declares, hallelujah. Amen. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's look at the word of God tonight. Amen. We're going to look at a scripture that I preach as you preached it. We're going to look at it differently tonight. First Samuel, uh, excuse me, First Kings chapter 18. Hallelujah. I hear something in the heavenlies. Amen. I believe in God to manifest it in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Everything that the devil has stolen from you, this is the time of restoration. Glory to God. The word of the Lord declares, amen, Proverbs 6 declares that, amen, that if a man steal to feed his hunger, you wouldn't despise it, but yet when he's caught, he must return sevenfold. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to look at the word of God tonight in the Holy Ghost, and, and I believe in God to really help many of us because God's doing something now. Amen. And if you don't have an ear to hear what the Lord is saying, you're going to miss out on what he's really doing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Isn't it something that God, he never really talked about you seeing, but he talks about hearing. Jesus said, take heed what you hear. Then he also said, take heed how you hear. Hallelujah. Amen. Many people in the body of Christ, amen, are out the will of God based on not being able to properly hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. God can speak to you by shaking a mulberry bush. God can speak to you by allowing you to go to sleep. And when you wake up, that dream will so shake you that until you get understanding of the dream, you won't be able to sleep again. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord declares in Job 33 that God will speak yes once, yes twice, and even three times. He'll speak in dreams and vision. Any dreamers in the room? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Look at somebody and tell them what you've been through. Come on, come on, talk now. Come on, we want to dialogue tonight. What you've been through. What you've been through is your vehicle. Is your vehicle to the route to the route that God predestined for you. Now I'm saying that because many of us have been going through some things and we think what we've been going through is the devil. But I want to come tonight to serve notice to the believer that everything you go through just because it don't look good and feel good don't mean it's the devil. Hallelujah. That's why the word of God said all things. They work together for your good. It's some stuff that the believer must go through. Amen. You've been called to the furnace of affliction. Anybody feel chosen in here tonight? Amen. If you feel chosen, you got to know there are some things you've got to go through. Jesus said it must need that I go through Samaria. Hallelujah. The church don't want to go through anything. You know, the old saints used to have a song, I'm going through. You, you, we don't like songs like that. Amen. We want songs that shout on the head and not the tail. Every now and then, you ought to check yourself if you're not going through something. Yeah, yeah they that live godly in Christ Jesus, they shall suffer persecution. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Something's wrong with the believer that really believes that they shouldn't go through anything. Glory to God. The devil, he, he's, he's a liar and you ought not believe his lie. Amen. Amen. The word of God is at stake and the devil is trying to convince us that when we go through stuff, maybe God don't love you. Maybe the word of God is not working in your life. Amen. First, first Kings chapter 18. That's where we're starting tonight. Amen. We're going to say we can't work there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shall have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Ah, amen. We quick to say stuff just like the people told us to say it. Yes. The Bible says count the cost. Yes, Have your way, Lord. Do you really mean that? Yes. Hallelujah. And sometimes we really need to mean, Lord, yes. have your way. We need God to have his way in our life because we don't know the way no longer. Hallelujah. There's many preachers right now out the will of God because things didn't work the way they thought they should work. Hallelujah. And I'm learning something. Glory to God. Amen. A lot of times when you're in the will of God, the first uh, asset test for you to really know you're in the will of God is this, Minister Mickey. Amen. If God tells you to do something and there's no adversary, amen, trying to fight you, might not be God. Come on now. Glory Come to on God. Now. That's a good asset test. When God tells you to do something, amen, the first thing happens is this. Go to the other side. Immediately, a storm arose. Glory to God. 
That's good. Sometimes you ain't even got to know the Lord is doing nothing for you. Just watch the devil in your life. Huh? Glory to God. Come on. Your children are so blessed. That's what God told you. This is how you know they're really blessed. When all hell breaks loose against them. When they go to school and cut up. When the devil looks like he got the upper hand on them. That right there should let you know I know my children blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The devil ain't messing with nothing, not worth nothing. Come on. He's smarter than the average Christian. <laughs> yes, sir. Glory to God. Come on. The devil going after the most valuable stuff. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Isn't there something? When he found out, Herod found out that Jesus was born, king of the Jews, he, immediately he got to looking for this king. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. See, some of us, we can't trace God, but you can trace God by how the devil is fighting you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God done told you you're going to be a millionaire, an entrepreneur, how you're going to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. And every time you look around, your funny money, your change strange, that's an acid test for you to know. Thank you. I know I'm a millionaire. I know God going to use me to make distribution to the kingdom of God. How? Because he's fighting your money. Thank you. That's good. There's a fetch of urban door open, but there's adversaries. Whatever God opens up, always know the devil gonna fight you there. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God done told you to lay hands on the city, they shall recover, and you can't get well yourself. Come on, that's an asset test. Don't ever look at your children based on what they're dealing with and what they're going through and think that's the conclusion of the matter. Because Psalms 139 let us know that they were fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Before you and your, before the mom and daddy got together, God said in his book, he already had what he was going to do, when he was going to do it. Amen. Every one of us sitting in here tonight, you was born at the right time in the right city. Glory to God. Amen. You couldn't have been born no other place. Glory to God. Because the word of God declares in Acts 17 that the habitation and the blood, God already predetermined it. That's a word right there. Hallelujah. That's why I don't trip on black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, because we all bleed the same color. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you. And if we had some medical folk in here, they'll tell you your blood really is not red. Hallelujah. It's Amen. blue. Amen. Really but when it hits the air, it turns red. Anybody understand what I'm talking about tonight? Shake out tomorrow. Oh, I feel it now. Blue. Hallelujah. I ain't know what we was going to do tonight. I was feeling kind of like I was sleeping tonight or what? Well, maybe we don't need to have no one night revival tonight. Praise God. But thank God for the believers that are sitting in here. Amen. Amen. We give God glory for it. Pastor. Amen. Amen. Tracy, Pastor. Rod is back. Helping out the apostle. We have back. Amen. My wife is in the back. Amen. Each minister, we greet you. Amen. Brother Randy, God bless you, sir. Amen. I really do glory to God that your season is changing. Amen. What's in you, God, that you're about to birth it. Glory to God. People will try to place you in this place. But the will of God and the purpose of God is about to prevail in your life. Hallelujah. I see you, amen, at nighttime. Glory to God. Can't hardly sleep because the Spirit visits you. He talks to you. Some of us, we do not know how to really look at people because we're external people. Glory to God. You judge folk by the external of God. Say, I can see their heart. Hallelujah. And I wish real prophets. Glory to God. God. Quit looking at folk based on what they can see and look past what they can see into the spirit. Hallelujah. Now. Of us here, we got a book, glory to God. Now. And real prophets, God will open up the book and give them words of knowledge, words of wisdom about your life. Amen. Quit limiting prophets to confirm stuff for you. Hallelujah. Prophets can speak your future into existence. You can get one word from a prophet, glory to God. And God of body, God of your deliver, God of a situation by a revelation to a prophetic word. I wish the church really would begin to acknowledge the real prophets. Amen. And quit calling for psychics. Jesus. Jesus. Lord, Hallelujah. Come on, preach now. It's your season. This is your hour. This is your time. This is your turn. You're coming from the back to the front. Glory to God. I see your grandmother, glory to God, telling you something as a youngster that you ain't letting go yet. And it is on schedule. Hallelujah. God said in many days, there's going to be a supernatural shift in the way you even think, Hallelujah. brother. Glory to God. See, that's where it got to happen. It's got to happen in your mind, in your mind, in your mind. 
Yes, sir. Think small, you live small. Think yes, big, you live big. Yes, sir. Somebody shout, I got a big dream. I got a big dream. Hallelujah. I got a big dream. It scared me sometimes. Hallelujah. Anybody's dream scare them? Yes, I almost feel like it's a nightmare. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh-uh. We say something back in Florida. It's hard to be big with little gotcha. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can't let it grip your heart, grip your mind. That's good. I can't do that. I can do all things. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Glory to God. It ain't nothing you can't do. Hallelujah. First Kings, we're going to go to the word. First Kings, uh, we just want to kind of tonight, we're going to a little bit. I hope that's all right. Amen. I feel the prophetic, but we're going to prophetically preach and speak Amen. from the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. How many understand prophets of all? We've got to pull people out and prophesy a personal prophecy to you because that's the smallest portion of a real prophet. Glory to God. Amen. Anybody in the body of Christ can come up under the spirit and prophesy. Amen. Exhortation, comfort. Amen. You can do that. Glory to God. We ain't talking about the office though. Amen. The office of a prophet is not limited. Amen. To me calling Minister Mickey out and giving him a personal prophecy. But if God would have me to do that, it's fine. But that's really not the uh, gist of a real prophet. It's a word called Nami. Amen. Uh, uh, that word literally uh, uh, means bubble up. Glory to God. Sometimes real prophets can just begin to talk and stuff will bubble up out their spirit. Glory to God. But see, the church wants prophets to be evangelists, be teachers, and, 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 and what we're not to be. Hallelujah. So tonight we'll form the word of God. We'll see. 1 Kings 18, verse 1. Listen to the word of the Lord. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, show, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. Uh, I, I, I've been in newborn long enough, and I picked up something out of the spirit, newborn North Carolina. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on now. Amen. I was about to leave newborn on, I believe it was yesterday, glory to God. And the Holy Ghost pulled the rain, put the brake on, and said, be still and know that I'm God. And we began to be still and really try to inquire of God, are we just to stay, to stay? What's really going on? Amen. And at that time, Apostle Jones called the phone and said, hey, would you be interested in doing another couple of nights? I said, if it's the will of God, let's do it. Hallelujah. Amen. So then I began to pray and say, God, what's really going on? I began to feel strange in the spirit. Anybody ever had the, the just a strange feeling? I ain't talking about strange like you got a belly or you got a head. Not that kind of strange. I'm talking about in the spirit. You know something's going on beyond your intellect, beyond what you can understand. God ain't letting you have history this time. You can't track him based on that. But a mysterious something began to happen with me. Lord, and as we got quiet in the spirit, a couple things began to stir in my heart. And this afternoon, glory to God, I got clarity now. Hallelujah. God told me to tell Newburn, and I'm using moment of truth to trumpet this through. If you can treat real prophets, the whole city will be turned upside down for the glory and honor of God. Amen. The word of God says you cannot give a real prophet in the name of the prophet a glass of water and not get a prophet's reward. Glory to God. Amen. I want to jump it through moment of truth. God is about to use Newburn, North Carolina, glory to God, to cause a revival fire to break out and sweep up the northern eastern border, glory to God. There's some people in Newburn that are looked at as insignificant. God said their face, their name, glory to God, is about to go around the globe for the glory of God. There's some preachers in Newburn, North Carolina, that people wouldn't even give them the time of day. Oh, but God said the promotion comes from me. I'm about to sit down the high-minded preacher. And I'm going to raise up a humble on, company of preachers. And they're going to sound the alarm, glory to God. It's about to be revived. 
revival fire in New Bern, North Carolina. Many of us don't understand real revival is deeper than speaking in tongues. Glory to God. People on the streets of New Bern going to drop to their knees and accept Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. It's preaching right now. People don't even know him. But in the spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody shout revival. Revival. Yes. Have Watch your way. Lord. Have your way. Glory to God. See, sometimes you got to be like Jesus. Can anything come up out of New Bern? Ah. And equipment yes. can you all the song? Yes. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. New. Come on. New. Come on. New. Fresh. There's a fresh wind, glory to God, that's getting ready to come through New Bern, North Carolina. Thank you. Glory to God. God said that he's getting ready to literally cancel everything the enemy had on his agenda to wreak havoc with New Bern. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Even the proud, he's out getting ready to bring them low. Hallelujah. There's some proud folk in New Bern. Proud of the wrong thing. God, I'm getting ready to break them down. Hallelujah. The church of the living God is on the rise in New Bern. Hallelujah. There is a spirit moving in the streets of this city and it's getting ready to connect the dots. Glory to God. Amen. You've been like the valley of the dry bones, but God said prophesy to the wind. Hallelujah. There's been a shift in New Bern. Hallelujah. Amen. No longer are preachers. Glory to God. Don't be able to preach their own gospel. God said, just like Zachariah, I will shut the priest's mouth that won't say what I tell him to say. It's going to be some preachers put on mute. Glory to God. But the preacher that will obey God, he's getting ready to give them a voice in this city. Hallelujah. There's some preachers in this city that's minding their business, but God the Holy Ghost, he's about to super, hallelujah, impose his will on them. It's some Jonas here, glory to God. You've been in that belly of a fish so long, you done got comfortable to living in the belly of a fish. Ah, but I hear the Holy Ghost saying, I'm about to push fast forward. I'm getting ready to eject them out of the fish, and they're going to hit the ground running, glory to God. What would have took them years will take one day. Somebody shout, this is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. The Lord has oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, some of us sitting in here right now, you on the mind of God. Thank you, Lord. Here's the other thing. Thank you, Jesus. And this is what I'm going to preach from tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prophets like rain. Thank you, Jesus. I love it when it rains. That's a prophetic sign to me. We've been riding around New Bern, flooding everywhere. When the Spirit of the Lord comes in, you say, like a flood. The Lord will lift up a stand. But listen to the original translation. When the enemy comes in, like a flood, right. your God raises up a stand. Yes, Hallelujah. God is raising the standard in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. It's preaching right now. Glory to God. They lie. They stun it. But God said, it's getting ready to be in the city of Newburn. Preachers are going to be exposed. Glory to God. They get ready to be broadcast on the nightly news. Glory to God. There's some preachers right now thought they got away. Hallelujah. You ain't got away. Hallelujah. What's done in the dark, God's going to be bringing to the light. What you think is secret, he's going to let it be proclaimed through the daily news. Glory to God. You get ready to be exposed. You get ready to be exposed. You false lying preacher. You get ready to be exposed. Exposed. Hey, God bless you. Hallelujah. God got a way of demoting and promoting. He said, I'll bring down one and raise up another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't handle the church of the living God any kind of way you want to. I think God's going to let you do that. He said, this is my church. And upon this rock, I'm going to build it. You can't have man, the church of God in that kind of way. Right. Come on, here. Right. Come on, brother. Thank you. Thank you. you ain't going to just let any old somebody right. handle your bride in any kind of way. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. You think God's going to let somebody handle his bride in any kind of way? The right. devil is a lot. Shake out the devil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
This is going to make you sure you're going to speak in the presence of my wife. Woo! Watch your mouth, son. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You think you can speak to the church of the living God who is the bride of Christ any kind of way? The devil is a liar. You got to watch your mouth. Hallelujah. You can't just say what you want to say. See, back in the day, amen, real gentlemen knew how to walk in the presence of a real lady. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, I got an open door, but it's some preachers, glory to God, that's trying to shut the door. Hallelujah. They ain't going in. Don't want you to go in. God said so that day is over. Hallelujah. God's getting ready to raise up people sitting in the pew. They're going to take the pulpit. Shot, double, whole shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think the preacher got it going on, but God's getting ready to show you. Hallelujah. This is the hour for body language. Glory to God. The body is speaking correctly. The body is handling the Bible correctly. It's the preacher that don't want you to know it's them. It's them. It's them. It's them. I don't know what's the matter with Zion. It's not Zion. Zion's good. It's a preacher. Hallelujah. I know we don't like that. I'm a preacher too, so I'm talking about me too. Put yourself. Amen. Paul said, examine yourself. See if you're in the faith. We got too many preachers that don't believe in self examination. Ain't nobody judge me. I'm the man of God. That's not that I'm not going to do it. Examine yourself. Glory to God. See if you're in the faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Talking about the people can't handle the truth. You ain't preaching no truth. Four and a half. Come on now. Glory to God. Jesus. If you get it to them, they'll handle it. Woo. Hallelujah. But start telling the truth. Yes. Don't tell me I can't handle the truth. You ain't speaking no truth. Yes. Glory to God. All you trying to do is make sure a bunch of people come to give you a tithe and an offer. Come on. You don't care about my soul. Come on now. Hallelujah. My soul tore from the floor. You can kill that. As long as I keep bringing that bankroll. Hallelujah. I'll stay on your membership roll as long as that bankroll keep rolling in. Let me stop paying. Then you want to take me off. I know y'all don't do this in North Carolina and Florida. They taking folk to jail because they talk about they ain't paid their tithes in 90 days. I know y'all don't do that in North Carolina. But in Florida, that's what they do. Amen. You don't pay your tithes. They put you out to church. Glory to God. And then send it to the creditors. Wow. How in the world you gonna send me to a creditor based on because I didn't pay no tithes? Lord they doing it though. Lord have mercy. They doing it. Uh, Isn't that wicked? Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what the preachers are doing though. Wow. The preachers. Now you might say, ooh, what is he upset about? I'm upset about everything that upset God. <laughs> yeah, we need some holy ghost preachers to get the burden in the heart of God. There you go. Glory to God. Righteous. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, y'all keep coming and rejoicing. He said, you ought to be burdened over this because a man that got his own wife, his own father's wife, ain't nobody at all of the pagan nations doing this. Lord, have mercy. You come to our town, have, oh, we just had church last night. And you got a bunch of whoremongers and homosexuals. Yes. Glory to God in key now. position. Yes. Come on now. It's a good word. That's a good word. We don't care if you come to church, but you ain't gonna hold no key position. Yes. And you get delivered. Amen. You can come and sit in the pew. Amen. Glory. Amen. You ain't gonna be no usher. Hallelujah. Glory. You ain't playing no instruments. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Get delivered. But Pastor, I'm bringing fifteen hundred dollars a week. Tide, keep bringing it. <laughs> get delivered. Amen. We ain't gonna reject your money. Keep bringing it. Amen. Amen. But you ain't getting in no key position. Amen. Once upon a time, Pastor Ron, you know you can buy your way in. Yes, sir. That's why Jesus rebuked them when they were concerned about yes, who can be saved. Yes. Don't get it twisted. It ain't about your money. Yes. I hope ain't no Catholics in here, but if you're in here, here's the word for you. Catholicism can't get you out of purgatory, baby. Right. Glory to God. You either going to hell or heaven. Hallelujah. There is no purgatory. There ain't no in between. Glory to God. Read your Bible. Hallelujah. Luke says, Glory to God. That that rich young ruler. Hallelujah. That rich man. Amen. That looked at Lazarus and let dogs lick his sores. When he got into hell, he looked over the gulf and said, Father Abraham, tell Lazarus to dip his finger in some water coming dip it in my mouth. Yes. And he said, I'm not so. Yes. That great gulf came from. That's right. Come on. Even when they get to hell, Pastor Ron, they're going to still have the same mentality. That's right. Yes, yes sir. Thanks. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What God is talking about, I'm troubled. Amen. Said so the summer is gone, winter is gone, and you still not saved. 
Come on, that's what it's about. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 10, Paul said, I wish that my brother in Israel would be saved. Come on, if we're not concerned about souls, preachers, why are we doing what we do? Yes. Come on. Every time we engage someone, it's in hopes that they get a life to Jesus. Yes. Yes. One can plant, one can water, but we know God and God alone gives the increase. Come on. So listen to this now. Listen to this. First Kings 18, 1. He told Elijah to go show himself to Ahab and I will send rain upon the earth. The first thing we got to hit tonight is that we got to kill every false prophecy, every lie. We got to kill it. Yes, sir. He said, go show yourself. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't want to face the reality of what's going on with us. Some of us need to do just like Jacob. Glory to God. Amen. I don't believe Jacob read your Bible. Amen. The Bible don't say Jacob wrestled with God nor an angel. The Bible says he wrestled with a man. Yes. That's, that's I believe Jacob wrestled with himself. That's true. We won't wrestle with ourselves. Our own negative thinking. Glory to God. Yes. Every now and then you need to come to the altar and say, Lord, it's me. It's me, oh Lord. Yes. Standing in the need of prayer. Yes. It's not my mother. It's not my father. It's not my brother. It's not my sister. It's me, oh Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We act Thank like you. we exempt from everything. Yes. Glory to God. And that's why God has an indictment against false preachers now. Yes, yes. They don't want you to get in. They ain't trying to get in. That's right, man. Say they're going across land and sea, making people twice the devils of hell as they are. When God didn't call us to make proselytes, he said make disciples. Hallelujah. A proselyte ain't nothing but somebody, amen, that you done manipulated, intimidated, or dominated it through a, a, a control and got them to come to your church based on something that you was able to convince them about. You didn't persuade them based on the gospel. Amen. Paul said, because I know the terror of the Lord, I'm trying to persuade you, and I got the word of reconciliation. I said, Lord, help the preacher. We didn't got it twisted. We don't even preach the gospel for the sake of somebody's soul being saved. We preach it now in hopes that somebody like it and do something for us. Amen. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Yes, Lord. People don't want to endure sound doctrine. They got it you need. People go to church where they want to go. They don't even let God lead them no more. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We used to pray, Lord, lead me where they want me to be. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, the real Holy Ghost ain't this Holy Ghost y'all talking about. The real Holy Ghost will drive you right into the wilderness yes. to be tempted by the devil. Yes. Come on. Come on. Who think the Holy Ghost is the dead general? Yeah, he is, but he'll get bad too. Glory to God. Yes. That the Holy Ghost will put some pressure on you. Yes. Hallelujah. I know the Holy Ghost won't make you live right, but he'll put so much pressure on you that you'll just say, I give. Yes. Remember playing that game? Uncle. <laughs> Bend your arm back. Say, uncle. Say, uncle. No, no. Hey, been in enough. Uncle, uncle. I be mama. You going to say what? He gonna say what? Come on. The Holy Ghost. See, saints of God, we got to pray like the old folk. Yes. God, we pray that you put the hounds of heaven on them. Yes. Put a hook in their jaw and drive them in there. Yes. See, some of us pray those stupid prayers. Lord, go down on by the crack house. Lord, deliver. No, he ain't going to do that. You go do that. Yes. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Yes. We done got away from the Great Commission. Yes. Come on Amen. now. Preach. Preach. Go into the hedges and the highways. We got a ministry called Compelling Street Ministry. Now, compelling. Uh -huh. Glory. Compelling Street Ministry is so powerful that you don't say, Compelling Street Ministry. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Compel them. Compel them. We playing these stupid games with people. Yes. Trying to uh, get into some type of debate. Greater is he that's within me than he that's in the world. You got the authority, you got the power. Glory to God. Come on now, prophet. Amen. Let's let's look at the word. It's 8 30. We won't be quick. I hear a sound. Hallelujah. Go down to first Kings 4, 18, verse 40. I hear a sound. Hallelujah. I hear a sound. To 
tonight, I'm going to be quick because I'm going to get punched tonight. Because everybody is talking about manifestations. But there are things that must proceed the manifestation. Yes. Glory to God. You're not going to get a manifestation of God's word and you're disobedient. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're willing and obedient, it's a promise. You shall eat the good of the land. Yes. Yes. But you cannot expect to eat the good of the land and you're disobedient. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, some of us only know Saul, King Saul's disobedience when the prophet told him to kill everybody and he brought back the king and some of the choice uh, 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 sacrifices. But if you read, glory to God, in 1 Samuel 9 and 10, King Saul was disobedient when the prophet said, go to the high places and wait on me. Glory to God. And when I get back, we're going to make a sacrifice. Hallelujah. I'm going to help somebody tonight. Amen. But the Bible says he became afraid because the pressure he saw that the enemy was putting on the children of Israel. So he couldn't wait on the man of God. He took it upon himself to go ahead and make a sacrifice. Can I help somebody? When God tells you to do something, don't deviate from it. If he tells you to go stand out, glory to God, out on North Craven, on the corner of 12, don't you move until he tells you to move. But Lord, why you got me standing there? Just stand. Hallelujah. When you've done all you know to do, make sure you stay on your post. Just stay. You ain't going to get no manifestation of the glory of God if you don't first do the things that must proceed the manifestation. Hallelujah. Look at verse 40. Amen. We just in the word tonight. Elijah said unto them, who? The false prophet. He said, take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. Oh, I want to encourage somebody here. If God be for you, who would dare try to be against you? It was 400 and some prophets against one prophet. Oh, uh, if God be for you, baby, uh, you are not the minority. You are the majority. Glory to God. We forget sometimes it's more for us than against us. Can we see in 2 Kings chapter 6? Hallelujah. On the uh, mountaintop, amen. The angel comes out. He said, oh, master, they are, they are coming the mountains. And the prophets stood for He said, don't you see what's behind them? Hallelujah. See, you, you, you got it messed up. You got to look beyond what you can see. Glory to God. Amen. When the enemy come in one way, my God will make you through several ways. I am sure the devil right now. Glory to God. Because I understand something. The devil's been defeated. Hallelujah. Colossians 2.15 declares, God, Jesus made an open show of the devil. Amen. Disarmed him. Any military folk in here. What good is a, hallelujah, what good is a grenade that's been disarmed other than just throwing it at somebody. All the devil can do is throw stuff at you. Hallelujah. Amen. An old bishop told me years ago, he said, the devil ain't got no teeth. All he can do is gum you. Glory to God. I don't know about you. We got some grandbabies and I remember when they were teething. I was just going to come all over my family. Amen. But when they got some teeth in their mouth. Hallelujah. You ain't biting my finger. Glory to God. The devil don't have no teeth. Hallelujah. Why are you afraid of a defeated devil? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 